whenever we hear an electric vehicle first thing comes into our mind is its battery the battery is a very vast topic so we'll segregate this in several videos in this session we'll see different types of batteries their construction advantages and disadvantages we'll also see why lithium ion batteries are being used in electric vehicles why lithium ion why not just lithium metal what is anode and cathode of a battery and finally we'll see the working of lithium ion battery so buckle up guys let's start with the basics the only reason why people are not buying an electric vehicle is due to its battery limitations and most common reasons are that battery is very expensive it's not safe it takes a lot of time to charge the battery has very less energy density and so on there are several myths regarding these batteries as well and here we'll take care of those also the battery is an energy source of an electric vehicle or any electronic device each battery is consists of two electrodes one electrode is called negative electrode it has a lot of tiny negatively charged subatomic particles called electrons the other one is positive electrode it has very few electrons when the two electrodes are connected by a conducting material like wire or electrical cable electrons flow from negative electrode to the positive electrode and this flow of electrons is known as electricity we use this electricity in our daily life batteries store this electrical energy inside of them there are a lot of battery types available out there which are lead acid nickel cadmium nickel zinc zinc air nickel metal hydride lithium polymer and lithium ion batteries there is newly invented graphene technology which can revolutionize the whole battery industry but it is not in the scope of this session so we'll skip that every battery has its own advantages and disadvantages and we'll have a look why do we use only lithium ion batteries in evs so let's start with lead acid battery the negative material of lead acid battery is made of spongy lead and positive material is made of lead oxide its electrolyte is made of diluted sulfuric acid the advantages of these batteries are it is available in production volume it has comparatively low cost it is over 100 years old technology so everybody uses that battery but we cannot discharge more than 20% of its capacity it has very limited life cycle it has very low energy and power density and they are very heavy so due to that their weight also increases these batteries need maintenance as well next battery is nickel metal hydride its positive electrode is made up of nickel hydroxide its negative electrode is made up of an alloy of nickel titanium vanadium and other metals and electrolyte is alkaline solution this battery has double energy density as compared to lead acid battery it is harmless for the environment it is recyclable this battery can be used for higher voltages this battery is also resistant to overcharge and over discharge but this battery has very less lifetime that is around 200 to 300 cycles if we discharge rapidly on high load currents next battery type is nickel zinc the positive electrode is made up of nickel oxyhydroxide the negative electrode is zinc this battery has high energy density it also has high power density it uses very low cost materials this battery is friendly to environment and it can be used in wide temperature range from minus 10 degrees celsius to 50 degrees celsius 
well due to growth of dendrites we cannot use those in electric vehicles or any vehicle application next battery type is nickel cadmium the positive electrode of this battery is nickel hydroxide and negative electrode is cadmium this battery has longer battery life it can discharge fully without being damaged it is also recyclable but the cadmium can cause pollution in case of not being properly disposed these batteries are costlier for vehicular applications now let's come to the lithium ion batteries the positive electrode is made up of oxidized cobalt material and negative electrode is carbon material mostly graphite the electrolyte of this battery is lithium salt solution in an organic solvent this battery has very high energy density it gives good performance at higher temperatures it is recyclable it has very less loading effect the specific energy and specific power of this battery is also very high this battery has longer life cycle however these batteries are very costly recharging still takes quite a long time but it is better than most of the batteries why we use these batteries in electric vehicles because of their high energy per unit mass that is energy density they also have a high power to weight ratio they have high energy efficiency good temperature range and low self discharging lithium metal is very reactive it has only one electron in the outer shell so it loses electron very easily in the reaction it can form an ion which acquires positive charge by losing an electron lithium ions have low specific energy as compared to lithium metal but they are very safe we already saw every cell is made up of positive electrode negative electrode and electrolyte now there is a lot of confusion between anode and cathode we have studied that anode is positive terminal and cathode is negative terminal that's true for simplicity of understanding we always assume current flows from positive terminal to negative terminal but one thing we are missing here is the flow of electrons electrons flow from negative terminal to positive terminal hence practically current flows from negative terminal to positive terminal of the battery so anode is the terminal where current flows out of the device and cathode is the terminal where current flows inside of the device so in the case of batteries cathode is positive electrode and anode is negative electrode so in lithium ion batteries the lithium metal oxide is cathode and graphite carbon is anode when the cell is charging the electrons flow from external circuit to the anode the electrolyte present in between doesn't let electrons flow within the cell it acts as a filter but the lithium ions flow from the cathode to anode through electrolyte and they get trapped in the graphite layer once all the lithium ions are reached the graphite layer we can say cell is fully charged when the load is connected to the battery the lithium ions flow from the anode to cathode again and electrons flow externally through the circuit and that's how a lithium ion cell is discharged providing current to the load so this process repeats for charging and discharging of the cell so that's it for now we'll come more about lithium ion batteries in next video so far we have seen the basics related to motors and motor controllers in previous videos please check those out i have put the link in the description comment down below if you have any question hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to my channel and finally thanks for watching